Ah, I see you have been tramping through the mud. Feel free to stamp your feet. Despite my best efforts, I have come very close to completing a task. In truth, I enjoy sweeping the dock, counting the ripples in the water. It feels like home. My heart and I have barely spoken. She strains her spines both day and night, pouring through tomes and hatching her schemes. Her eyes are fixed on the next rank, and the next after that. I fear for her. A soul without rest grows dim as twilight. No, she has not. All to the good, I guess. A finless fish weakens the shoal. But enough about me. You, my friend, are a mighty swimmer. Seek her out in her stone-dwelling place. If I know my heart, she will certainly have a task for you. I think I'll go pretend to work somewhere else. What is it? Pleasure to see you, Sarah. I'm glad you dropped by. I could use a friend right now. I just received a summons from the council. Typically, I'd be overjoyed. After all, I just submitted a petition for advancement to Oathman. But the council never acts on petitions this quickly. Someone's arranging pieces on the game board. I know it. If a member of the house plans to spring a trap, I need to project strength. The councillors know you've assisted me in the past. If you appear before the mouths on my behalf, it puts the Magisters and I on equal footing. It might even save my life. Thank you, my friend. Be careful. Magister Gothrin opposes any further honors for the slave girl. Oh, look, the lizard sent a representative. Such pretensions. Approach, Emissary. You may inform your benefactress, Sun in Shadow, that the Council has elected to reject her petition. Be sure to add that all further petitions will meet the same fate. Cats and lizards have no place in our great house. Honestly, Rolasa. Don't worry, Relasa. The Emissary will give Sun and Shadow a full account of this meeting. I have no doubt. There is no greater virtue than ambition, but I'm afraid Sun and Shadow's enthusiasm has rubbed a few of our number the wrong way. Beyond the obvious? Your friend possesses a keen mind and great natural talent. But even the Great House Telvani is not above simple prejudice. The circumstances of her birth make advancement complicated. Yes, Relasa hates practically everyone, but she's developed a particular distaste for Sun and Shadow. I can't tell if it's truly the will of Gothrin or just a personal vendetta. Both of them revile lesser races, a perfect match if ever there was one. I would counsel patience, but I have no illusions. Sun and Shadow will dismiss such advice out of hand. Her dreams can only be deferred for so long. I say only this. Whatever she plans to do, make sure she does it cautiously. 
Sun and Shadow will stand before us again. I only hope that it's for a promotion and not something less pleasant. Believe it or not, these meetings can go far worse. Honor to you and your house, Sarah. Farewell. Be sure to add that all further petitions will meet the same fate. Cats and Ludam, where Don't are worry, those? Lassa. Come to have words with me, have you? Well, let's get it over with. I have things to do. I merely speak for Muthsera Gothrin. His distaste for sun and shadow should come as no surprise. Beasts have no place in the house. You may want to rethink the company you keep, Outlander. Just a bit of advice. I don't hate them. I just see the truth of their nature. Argonians and Khajiit make wonderful servants. But to pretend they possess the same faculties as Myrrh, or even men, is absurd. They were born to serve, just as we were born to rule. Sorry, I grew tired of waiting. I received more than a few sideward glances on my way over. What happened in there? Oh, I see. Or maybe I was too impatient. Requested it too soon. Damn! Did they give any reason? Was there anyone who spoke out against it? Of course it was Velasa. That pig has hated me from the start. Gothrin's not fond of Algonians. But this is clearly personal. Would you act as my emissary once more? If you go to tell Arun and speak to Gothrin directly, maybe he can settle this. I'll answer what I can, of course. Magister Guthrin reigns over Tel Arun, the fungal tower west of here. He has a sour reputation, but remains one of the most powerful mages in Tamriel. I never had cause to work for him, but Yoki did. He doesn't like to talk about it. I'd be lying if I said yes, but if there's anyone who could get through to him, it's you. Gothrin keeps a few pupils, henchmen more like. You'll probably have to get through one or two before he'll deign to speak with you. Just be careful. Tell Aruns, you got Nick spit in your ears? Tell Aruns closed. Jog off, you fetching in chow. Yeah? Well, I need a stiff drink and a good plow, but you don't see me knocking on strangers' doors, bay aching about it. 
Magister Gothrin's not seeing any visitors. Not today, not tomorrow, and not next week. So shove off, Gorface. <laughs> Aerith, Giraval, I've had enough of your excuses. Relassa made your task plain. Find those thieves. I'm sorry, Magister. It will be done. Whatever it is you want, talk to my cringing assistant. Ah, oh, greetings. I I'm sorry you had to see that. Magister Gothrin is really quite charming once you get to know him. Honestly, he wouldn't have yelled if Relas's little snoop, Captain Girivel, hadn't interfered. Ah, that. Uh, I'm sorry, but Relasa is determined to keep your Argonian from advancing. <laughs> Typical. I should be mouth. Say, I might have an idea. The thieves Mathsera Gothrin mentioned fled to Shashpilamath. Could you retrieve the goods they stole? Spoken like a true Telvani. If you bring the goods to me in Sadrath Mora, I'll take credit for their safe return. Relasa's gone to great lengths to discredit me, you see. My Muthsera knows this. If I succeed, he'll see that I am the fitter servant. Muthsera Gothrin will undoubtedly promote me to mouth. Then, in exchange for your help, I'll support your Argonian's petition. One good turn and all that. What do you say? I can't wait to see the look on Relasa's face when Muthsera Gothrin strips her of her title. And the groveling, the groveling will be delicious. Take this report to Mouth Relasa immediately. Yes, Captain. It will be done. of incense and hookah smoke. Did that beast Gothran send you? We are not goods. Zashanti and her friends prepare to leave this cursed island. No more lashings, no more bitter food. Only the light of the moons drifting across the Topal Sea. We only took Gothran's belongings to pay the smugglers. Bright moons. This one thanks you, Walker. We stored Gothrin's trinkets in crates nearby. The smugglers will groan at their absence, but we would rather face the wilds alone than go back to Tel Arun. Wait! What was that noise? <gasps> Greetings, Outlander. Cedera Relasa sends her regards. Gathering up these slaves on our own would have been exhausting. No, no, no! Damned cats! You lot are going back to tell Arun! Move out! You heard the captain. Get moving, Kerr. No! Darsha will not go! Don't kick yourself over Relasa outmaneuvering you. Trust me, you never had a chance. 
Of course. You didn't think she'd let that flat-headed Aerith out nix her, did you? Oh, and don't bother looking for those other stolen goods. My troops have the situation well in hand. Thanks for all your help, Noir. So long. Pleasure. Farewell, Sun and Shadow. There you are. I'm glad you're back. I just had a fruitful conversation with our friend Aerith. Seems that I'm not the only one Rolasa's holding back. I think it might be time for a less conventional strategy. I underestimated Rolasa. I see that now. She plays the game far better than I do. The only way to win a game like this is to eliminate the player. I know how it sounds. I take no pleasure in it. It's just an unfortunate necessity. Half the Telvanni hierarchy arranged an opening at some point in their rise to power. If you deal with Relasa, Aerith takes her place. It's the best play, Sarah. I knew you'd see reason. Trust me, no one deserves this fate more than Relasa. You may have a Delvani's heart after all. Aerith told me that Relasa entered her room in the Council House just a few minutes ago. Good luck, my friend. Be discreet. If you were looking for that evil tempered Telvani witch, she went into that room. The lizard thinks she can kill me? Come on then! It's done? Thank you, Sarah. Not many people would take a life for their friends. At least I hope we're friends. The house? It makes it difficult to tell sometimes. Aerith and I spoke just moments ago. Things should move quickly. Aerith assures me that the Council will accept my petition now. So yes, I'd call this a success. Hopefully no one will give me cause to do this again in the future. Once again, you have my thanks, Sarah.